Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of our Game of Thrones breakdown. Dude, perfect name, Westeros Weekly. Oh shit. <laughs> Too bad you came up with this at the uh, at the end of the penultimate season. episode in the season. <laughs> Maybe there will not be any Westeros left. <laughs> this but, is very true. Yeah, yeah so. watch them. They're like, actually, this yeah. is the end of the series. I Trick. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so, yeah. another one, man. Episode another really good six. fucking episode. They yeah. just keep coming. They just keep fucking coming one after another. This is the uh, the episode where they always uh, typically kill... You know, the, the episode before the season finale, they always typically kill off characters, you know? Right, right. So the infamous ninth episode, but this year... Or this, yeah, this season... We don't have a ninth episode, yeah, so, so they don't get to do it. Yeah, technically the sixth episode, but... If you um, short us te- three episodes, yeah, you don't get to have your yeah. ninth. <laughs> that's, the, that's the rule. But, um... Yeah, so we had some, uh, fuck, it was, there's so much to cover. There is a lot to cover. Oh, there's a God. lot, but at the same time, I feel like it might not take us 48 minutes because yeah. it was very linear for yeah, the most very, part. Yeah, very, linear. It really didn't jump around much we, at we all. We are also down a man. We are down a man. We there's do, no we, Mason today. Yeah, no Mason today. If you are, if you can't tell <clears throat> the difference, you know, that's... <laughs> Oh man, I love Mason. But, no, no, no comment. <laughs> yeah, no comment. <laughs> um, but yeah, so first ep- opening scene was uh, the scene that we all kind of wanted. You know, the uh, kind of brotherhood, like camaraderie right? like, between all the, the Suicide Squad. It basically, <laughs> so yeah, it starts off with the little. Uh, I thought it was going to start in Dragonstone because they showed the table. Yeah, yeah. It was like a sweeping shot of the table in yeah. Dragonstone. And it heads north, and yeah. then it like fades into, into their the, march. Yeah. But this is like the talk that they were doing is the kind of talk that like shitty war movies can't get right. Yeah, I know, right? Where are you from? <laughs> yeah, you know, I know. Like, like that whole just Dude, shitty. I, you have a wife? Oh yeah, I'm married, two yeah, kids. Like, yeah. just, like that's just shitty. Yeah, like, yeah. I love the fact that they were all relatable in, in the yeah. sense where like, hey, you know that person? Oh, I know that person. Yeah. We're like, oh, hey, what happened to that one? T- what happened to that one time we would blah blah blah? You know, I was like. That's so fucking cool. Get a little bit more detail, you know. That, yeah. That's been what we all wanted. Well, they're they're already detail. established characters, so yeah. they're able to like draw upon stuff that the audience has already seen each of them do. Right. Um, and we kind of like, get to know where they're both coming from, which is really cool. Right. Um. Yeah. It's like I, there were a bunch of different ones. I don't remember which order the different conversations mm-hmm. went in, but I think that if I remember correctly, was uh was John and and uh, Barrick, right? No. I, is that uh, the first talk they were talking about? Like to make things better in the world, or that. Yeah, or you start be, with. I think it's Gendry bitching. Like, there's a. I mean, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't we'll matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I, I, I like. Yeah, that. So John and Barrick. That was a good. That was a really good scene. Yeah, they're making Barrick a bigger character now. Yeah, I'm really, really starting to like. Him. I, yeah, I like him a lot too, mm-hmm. and he's uh, he's not as insane as I thought he would be. Like you know, like fanatically, you know, yeah. sell it kind of thing. Um, he just. He's in his mind. He feels like he's doing the right thing. Yeah, you know, we just like, get kind of we get yeah. to the bottom of his like beliefs yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, than, yeah. Because before it's kind of left up to you. Like I guess he's just like a religious dude. You yeah, know? yeah, just exactly. But yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, he even says he's like, I don't really, you know, really know what's going on, but I know that things I've done for the most part have been good. Or yeah, like, at least what I feel are good. Right. Um. And and then he kind of makes John. You know, he talks to John about uh, his like, resurrection, his resurrection, and and yeah. why they're there and all this. I don't yeah. know. It was, it was a really good conversation. Yeah, all of the different yeah, combos yeah, abs- were good. Absolutely, and I, I liked it a lot when he's like put in perspective. He's like, maybe you don't need a reason. The reason here is just be- to protect the people. Yeah, you know? like yeah, and then he maybe quotes, that's, that's is that when he quotes the the wall. Yeah, quotes. yeah, yeah. Then he's like, "I am the shield that protects the realm of men." Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's all. I was like, "Dude, this is like that's great. That makes sense." You know, I'm like, "But okay, so this legitimately like, do you?" Think the the fi- Lord of Light is a, manev- a malevolent spirit. Like, is he like malevolent or yeah, benevolent? Yeah, benevolent in in the sense that he's like brought these guys back to like protect the people. Okay. Or because like, like malevolent, so I, I, which that, both. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, like, like do you, a lot of gods, that, especially these type of gods yeah. in real and false religions, yeah, are usually. Both, yeah, they're both kind and, of and they in change. Between. Like, I mean, yeah. you know, the Christian yeah, God I, is a fucking bipolar. He's yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like he changes depending on the person you speak to. You yeah, know? like, so uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Like, at first, I'm like, I'm super suspicious of the Lord of Light, but then this whole episode happens, and I'm like, maybe he's legit. Like, maybe, I, sometimes and I don't you know, know. This is not based on any knowledge of the lore, so yeah. it could be totally off base. But sometimes I feel like. The Lord of the Light, the Lord of Light, is a misinterpretation yeah. of the presence of magic. Yeah, because like, they're all yeah. like getting these visions, and they're like able to 
like their swords on fire and Melisandre's able to resurrect people yeah. and like she's able to make a shadow baby yeah. and like and she's able to use like blood to curse people like yeah. there's not one style of magic that yeah. really seems or like style of of, of worship or whatever yeah. that really matches up it's kind of I feel like they're all different... magicians they're all wizards or yeah. necromancers and they all just sort of use magic and they don't really understand it and they've so, just created a religion to explain ooh, it. Ooh, I like that. I like I don't that know that that's the case. Yeah. But like it seems like I if magic understand. were a real thing in the medieval times, yeah. they wouldn't know. They wouldn't understand. Yeah, either. Yeah, they would not how to how to scientifically explain it. Like, like you know, two thousand years in a fantasy yeah. world, we never see modern yeah. day fantasy. Yeah, they maybe they have a science. There, there probably yeah. is a scientific, but they're like, I don't know. It's yeah. the maker. You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is, like <laughs> they make that shit up because they yeah. don't know really what's happening, which would be kind of like a. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I don't know. There might be yeah. stuff in the books that totally discount that that I yeah. don't know. So I, it's just something that I thought because I'm not really interested in gods that aren't yeah. like there. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Look, we already yeah. got the Night King. Yeah, I know. Can we stop relying on the invisible <laughs> stuff? <laughs> yeah. The Seven will protect us. You know, Melisandre yeah. said she knew what was going on and, and she, she didn't. didn't know. You know, yeah. so it's like. This whole time. Yeah, so they, uh, so they're, they're trying, oh, I like, oh, so the other great part was the, the um, Gendry and the Brotherhood, right? Yeah, he was yeah, bitching with Yeah, he was so funny. You're whinging. Yeah, he's like, I'm not whinging. He's like, and then he's like, your upper lip is wiggling, <laughs> and you're complaining. <laughs> he's like, that's whinging. <laughs> <laughs> the Hound, man, the Hound always just comes in, like, yeah. he's just such a genuine character. Like, yeah. I don't feel like anything he ever does is out of character. Yeah, no. Uh, they did a really good job. Yeah, he, yeah he's a great he, actor. And Gendry man. immediately shuts the fuck up. Yeah, he's, he's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you're alive, aren't you? He just stops and just gets all mad. He's like thinking about it in his head. Yeah, you know? yeah you're right. Um, but, but I like that. I yeah. like that a lot. And, and they were sort of like Theros and Beric. They didn't really get a, much of a chance to yeah, defend too. themselves. Yeah. Like they, they had a few lines, but yeah. Hound came in and just kind of shut that shit yeah, down. Shut the, yeah, he shut it down. Uh, then we have the talk between Tormund and John, where he talks about Mansraider, yeah, and it's kind of Mans- serious. Yeah, very serious conversation. Which was He's like, like, the lives of your people uh, worth your pride or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because like, Mans was a effect. proud man, and yeah, how many like, people died for it. Yeah, crazy. Like, he's whoa! Like, yeah, I think, you know, how the episode ended, I think that definitely got to him, you know, it got to John. Yeah, uh, and I, I think Tormund is right in a lot of ways. Yeah, he is, yeah, and he is in a lot of ways. But You know, like, and, and obviously they're talking about kneeling to Danny, and it's like, we're giving her shit yeah. for being the way that she is and yeah. not breaking the wheel. And they, yeah. they, we, we get into that more. Yeah, a little bit later, yeah. Uh, and not breaking the wheel in the way in which we wanted her to. Yeah. Um, but John's kind of doing... The, all, I didn't yeah. really think about it this way, but John's kind of doing the same thing and yeah. not bending the knee and being... Like yeah. sometimes there's there's like kind of a middle ground that maybe they can yeah. find like I don't know marrying and having lots of kids. Right? <laughs> I don't know why? <laughs> but uh, but yeah yeah so there's uh yeah so the Tormund and John conversation was really nice. Uh, you then you get Jora and um, Thoros or Thoros or whatever. Yeah, Thoros. And, yeah, he was that was a great one. He's like, were you? Drunk. Oh at yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the breach, and he's all. I'm like, so glad that they talked about their history. Yeah, uh, I was like, they brought that, that back. I knew that was happening. Yeah, your friend, uh, who, Doug? Drew, Drew, yeah. Drew. Yeah, he's like, he mentioned that. And I was like, oh, they brought it up. Cool. Yeah, and he was, was like, disappointed in the last yeah. episode because like that's a big part. They they really know each other. Yeah. So that was cool. That, yeah, and then uh, he's like, I don't even remember that. <laughs> and, he, and then Jorah's like, well, they thought you were a god, and this is one of the coolest things in this episode is how Theros mm. and. Um, Barrack were able to turn their fucking swords into like basically lightsabers. They were like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like holy shit, the fire. Yeah. I was like, that is the coolest mm. thing ever. I was yeah, like, I, wanna... I, don't, I don't understand yeah. it. I don't, I don't think it's practical. I think no. there's magic. Because if, yeah, because if you think, um, if you think about, uh, how, yeah, uh, Thoros is a like red kind of priest or whatever. Right. But, you know, Beric isn't like. How does he? So you think well, like? Yeah, maybe, he is. They both are. They're both. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't think priest, that they're. They're like. He's a priest, but he. The other uh, Beric is a worshiper. Uh, right. He, right. He's not a priest. Like he. He and Melisandre. But he's a member of some kind of order. Yeah. Right? Or, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know how. To, that's the thing. Is the problem yeah. with not reading the books. I bet yeah. the books go way further Into, than yeah. those characters. Um, but what my point but is, right. but my right. point is, is, do you think Beric will teach John how to turn his sword all flaming? Maybe, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that'd be so over the fucking. I'm like, teach like everyone, anyone you can. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? I was like, that's. So I don't know if it's something that you can teach or a certain yeah. sword you need, but I'm yeah. sure he could. Uh, yeah. He could figure that out. Yeah. Um, my favorite of the, and there's more conversations yeah. to go. I, I yeah. I'm skipping the Hound and Torment yeah. for a moment. 
Because yeah. my favorite scene of that opening dialogue stuff was Jora and John. Yeah. When he tries to give him a sword. Yeah, yeah. I love that back yeah, and forth. Yeah, he's like, this is your father's sword. And you're very... He's like, you, you brought, you know, honor, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, George, I brought dishonor to my family. Right. And it's yours. And he gave it to you. He chose you. Yeah. And I was like... Oh, and they kind of do this back and forth. He's like, no, yeah. you take it. No, you yeah, take it. Like, yeah, take I was like... Because John felt guilty. He's like, he it's not my sword. Right. You know? I was like, not my family's sword, at least. And, and uh, George, I gave... I relinquished the rights to claim the sword. And I kind of agree with him. And yeah, I, was like, yeah. I agree with him. And I, I like how yeah. uh, how much an impression that made on Jorah. Yeah, like how much he now really respects, respects John. Him. Yeah, and just any, anyone John meets, man, they just yeah. like they're just like, <laughs> I know. my brother. Yeah, I know. they just <laughs> fucking love him, man. I mean, he's got he's got Daenerys yeah. head over heels. I know. Him, I know. Like, <laughs> just John everywhere he goes, like women fall in love with him. And Kit Harrington, yeah. that good looking motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. man. It's crazy. Do you know he is married to the woman that played Egret? Oh, he is really. He is, yeah. What? They, they got married through the show. Through the show. Yeah. Oh, they. Wow, yeah. that's cool. Yep. Fucking, that's awesome. So it's like dude. it's like it's like this wonderful cheesy love story. I know. <laughs> this <laughs> serious gritty show. Life. Dude, sometimes that shit happens when you yeah. portray love in a in a show and maybe transfer into real life. So. Yeah. So I thought um, that was pretty cool. That's really really cool. Actually. Yeah. They just got. I think they just got married. That's good for them. Yeah, it's pretty them. awesome. But uh, um, and yeah. then the other one, the tor tor yeah, tor uh, and, and the hound. And the hound. That was the funniest <laughs> yeah. one. He's like, I want to marry this giant woman, and he and then uh, Clegane's all like. He like realizes, yeah, stops, like, and turns like, around and looks at her. She's blonde. Her. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah. And he's no, like, Brienne of Tarth. That's what Bri- he says. yeah. Brienne of Tarth. And he's like, yes. And he's like, he's like, it was so funny. He's like, I want to marry her and have many children. They're giants. <laughs> giant, <laughs> giant children. <laughs> the conqueror of the world. <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah. that was that's a a love story that I want to happen outside of John and Daenerys. You I know, was so uh, absolutely. Hundred percent positive that Tormund was dying. Dude, I know you were last uh, the last episode. Especially we did. Especially at that point when they yeah. keep featuring him yeah. and making you like him more. I was like, oh, there. Oh, he's, yeah. he's, he's gonna get his guts ripped yeah, out. Like, the more they showed him, you planted, the worst his death was. You getting planted in my that head. seed in my mind. Oh. And I was like, fuck. They yeah. knew it was in your yeah, mind too because they they, they went after it. that big yeah, time they later on. Big time. But um. um yeah, so after the the whole buddy buddy scenes from all, all the guys and you're just getting to know each other. Yeah. Um, they go to I think Daenerys. I think it was Daenerys and Tyrion. And Tyrion sitting at the in Dragonstone. Yeah. And they had a really critical yeah. conversation between those two. I just more of the back and forth of like I love it. My yeah. favorite kind of scene is when the writers are not trying to side with anyone. Yeah. Like their characters they're are strong to enough. Both sides, you know. Yeah, well, they're trying not to be. They're not trying to influence the audience. Yeah. To be like, look, Tyrion is right here. Yeah. Or look, Danny is right here. Yeah. Like their characters are so strong and developed at this point, where they just they mean what they mean, and yeah. they they're both right a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You know, like yeah, I yeah. really appreciate that mm-hmm. that they, they don't they didn't have to come up with a way like mm, how do we just make Tyrion win this competition? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, he, he, Tyrion he made brought up wonderful point. points. Yeah, Br- Tyrion, he did bring up some great points. Like you're 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 saying that you want to break the wheel, but you're falling into the same steps that your your father did, you know. Mm-hmm. And and she's like, I am not my father, and you know all that stuff. And and she gets it. Like she, his point is like she. It, I, I she's listened like, to that one thing. I, she's listened yeah. to one thing. I she felt, hasn't resorted to yeah killing everyone. Yeah, no, I felt like she was impacted by that. She's like. Yeah, like he brought up the whole Tarly thing, you know. Yeah. And, uh, he's like, maybe the father had to die, but not the son too. And he, he's all like, and she's like, no, they defied me, so I, I saved. I mean, she literally I saved gave hundreds him a of men. Yeah, he's like, I, I saved hundreds of men by killing two. And she like, probably would have given them a yeah. position in her army. Yeah, had no. they bent the knee. Yeah, no. You know what? I just, I still, don't, I think the number one thing that answers that whole thing yeah. is what should she have done? Yeah, and I don't think anyone can really answer that. No, well, yeah, so I, like, I think. Because yeah, Cersei Tyrion, has no morals. Like yeah. when your enemy is literally doesn't care if she yeah. kills a hundred billion people to yeah. win, it makes it a lot harder for you to try and stand on a moral high yeah. ground. Well, Tyrion like, actually makes that point. He's like, yeah. to defeat your enemies, you have to think like your enemies and see what your enemies. Oh, see. I love that line. You know, yeah. and he's all like, react yeah, yeah, accordingly. He's like, react accordingly. He's like, because he knows that if Daenerys and Cersei meet. They're gonna have a, a battle of words, you know. Oh yeah, like, and Cersei's and like, gonna get personal. Yeah, yeah exactly. And he's, he's like, you have to be. You, you have a bad that. temper. Yeah, he, she oh does. My God. And she, uh, like, she's the mother of imme- fucking dragons. Dude. Immediately though, her she temper. Gets so mad. Like, yeah, I was like, that's what I was waiting for. Tyrion. He's like, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's like, so I'm, true. Yeah, she like, does. But yeah, she's yeah. she's fire and blood, man. That's yeah. she's that's how she is. That's, you know, that's her her brother. I mean, yeah. and that's like something that definitely runs yeah. in genetics. Like, yeah. Her brother was crazy angry, yeah, I know. and her father yeah. was insane yeah. with paranoia <laughs> and anger. Uh, you know, yeah. and like even Rhaegar was like a yeah. great warrior who yeah. would just killed. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I know. that's just who they are. So I like that, that, and I hope that that she keeps his advice in mind. Yeah, yeah, you know, going forward. Um, but then I don't, also don't blame her yeah. for not wanting to talk about succession. He, oh in yeah, the that, middle brought, of a war. He brought that up. Yeah, yeah. And I thought that was a bad timing for that conversation too. It's, like I get it. Like he he brought it up in in a way. He's like, what's going to happen to us when you you, if you, if you die? Or if you got yeah. killed right now. Yeah, I was like, what what happens to us? Like he's like you. You know, she like she got really angry about it, and I, I feel like not in angry at him in a sense, but angry in that she's he, thinking about it. Yeah, too. she's thinking about it too, and he's making sense. You know, she's like I she said that she can't have children you know yeah, i like, asked drew about this and he, and he explained it but i don't remember yeah there was some point apparently in season two where she was told she couldn't have kids and she yeah by, the, by that um that priestess lady that in the was, first season no in the second season um after she gets um with cal drogo and all that and then she tried you know he multiple times had tried to conceive a child with him but then Remember they had a miscarriage. Remember she had a miscarriage. Well, no. So that was the that was the first season. Yeah. The witch she asked to use the horse. Yeah. To for the life of Cal yeah. Drogo and do the necromancy. <clears throat> yeah. But it was actually the baby's life. Yeah, it was the baby's. It was life. used by that in that. That's the first season, and in that talk, the witch didn't. I don't remember the witch telling her she yeah. didn't have kids. And then Drew said there was some moment in the second season in Karth, the city. Where I can't remember the name he gave me. The mage. Someone that... tells her that she can't have children, and she starts bleeding. And I'm like, I don't remember. I don't that. remember that either. What the hell? I don't know if he's accidentally remembering the books, or yeah. if there is something in the season that I don't remember. Huh, interesting. I don't remember. I don't that. remember ever being specifically stated that she was yeah. sterile. Yeah, I don't remember that. The either. last thing anything that her to do with pregnancy was when her she had yeah. a miscarriage because the baby's it life is, was used to give to yeah. Drogo. Interesting. And I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember that. So if uh, Matt, <laughs> Matt Troxler, <laughs> maybe you know. Does I, I'll look it up. But I'm curious if you remember anything uh, about her when they specifically stated that she could not have children anymore. Yeah. In season two, I do not remember. that. I don't remember that either. But apparently, she's totally sterile. I yeah. didn't remember that. Yeah, yeah. And so um, they, they brought it up multiple times, in fact, yeah. in the episode. So. Yeah, and, and like you said, I don't think yeah. she was mad at him for bringing it up so much yeah. as she was clearly frustrated because she does. She knows it's the problem as well. Yeah. And she's got a, a million other problems on the plate. Yeah. She's like, look, one fucking thing at a yeah, time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'll worry about that once I have the throne. You yeah. got Cersei, yeah. uh, you got John. you got yeah. all, all, everything going on with the Night King. He also, was, oh, yeah, yeah. She, she uh, brought the whole conversation on with the heroes things, and she's like, all these men, yeah. you know, want to be heroes for me. And, and all these heroes keep and, dying. Yeah, yeah, they all run off and die. <laughs> and, he, and then Tyrion points out, he's like, well, all these men that you just named are men that fell madly in love with you. And she's like, and she's like, at most, at, like you know, it's kind of like that high school when you tell your your, your friend that, hey, um, so-and-so likes you. Oh, what? No, really? Really? Yeah. And, she, you know, and I felt like Daenerys was kind of having that reaction. She's like, John. What John? What did John say? You know, kind yeah. Of well, it reminded yeah. me of. I like that they're doing that with her because yeah. the last episode. Yeah. Um, when they have the uh, uh, Miss Sande and her have the girl talk. Oh, or the yeah. episode before that. I don't know. One of the episodes yeah, where they talk the about Grey Worm, yeah. and she's like, things happened or whatever. And they have yeah. like that that yeah. moment. Yeah. Like I kind of like to see because like Daenerys never really got to be a girl. At yeah. Point, you know no. I mean? She yeah. never got that chance. No. Yeah. So it's kind of cool when like she gets a little chance to just be humanized. A little yeah. Because I feel she's just she's just a steel. She's just a so she's hard, either mad or she's, she's cold. She's because, hardened steel yeah. over like forge, forge steel. You know that's why I was so pounding and pounding. So Jorah's around. Yeah, she just no. totally changes. Yeah. I just like I like these people that are able to bring out like the, the good person out, yeah. that she is. Yeah. I really am hoping I'm wrong about her going mad because I'm starting I, to fall in love with her all I, over yeah, again. I know, I, and, 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 I, <laughs> and I it's. I don't know if the show is purposely <sighs> doing that because yeah. you know, she, they're portraying her like she's not. Going Those first down that couple way. episodes, we were yeah. like, "Oh boy, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. this is the beginning yeah, of the then, end." And but now, like, this episode changes it. Yeah, back I, I love her again. I'm like, no, yeah, like, she's so great. Um, Why? But yeah, so so they're having that conversation. Then where is it cut off to? Well, wait. Before we go any further, Tyrion says that he promised Jamie that he will keep Daenerys under control, and Jamie will keep Cersei under control. 
you know? Right, yeah. So, and, and he's like, and then she's like, are you going to believe him? And he's like, no, because Cersei got a plan. Yeah. yeah. He's, like, he's like, I trust my brother to try, but he, Cersei... It doesn't matter. Yeah, Cersei will literally get the better of him, you know? So, Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so I, I feel like they have already have... Uh, I think this... Contingency plans, you know? This is, for me, pretty much this... The only true negative about this season... Like, I know I've bitched about... Yeah. The crossbow, which turned out to not really be anything, yeah. unfortunately. Um, so that not really that. But the number yeah. one thing, the only only problem I have with this season yeah. is this idea that they came up with on the fucking fly to go grab yeah. a, a grab an, an, uh, uh, yeah, a white, a white yeah. to show the least reasonable human being alive yeah. right now. <laughs> And to I, try to reason with her. I don't know if she, they're like planning on trying to show her or trying to show all of King's Landing. Maybe they'll like yeah, parade him through, just, you know, parade him through the streets or something. But hey, this is a fucking. This is what you guys are like. You guys I don't just, believe it. It's here. You I know? just feel like, but at the no, end I of the day, the you. decision it, it is no, the decision yeah, is Cersei's. The risk, yeah, Cersei doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, no, not at all. She doesn't. She, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't care. Yeah, not at and all. like I feel like Tyrion should be like, this is a terrible idea. Yeah. She's just gonna. She'll just kill you and the white right there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, I just wish that he was like, I don't know. This whole thing, it feels super contrived. I feel like yeah. I'm going to come up with another way to get them out there. Yeah. Because obviously the events at the end of the episode yeah. are the reason that we needed to go out there. Dan yeah. needed to see what was going on. Oh, we'll, yeah, and we'll get sure. there. But, but like, so I understand the need to get them there. Yeah. I just wish we could have come up with something a yeah. little less no, I guess, on the head agree. of this. So, other um, than that, though, it's been wonderful. Yeah. So they then... Uh... I believe it goes to Winterfell, right, with the girls. I'm trying to think if, yeah. So um, there may have been sections with, uh, did they go back beyond the wall again before that? Or mm. did the, the bear happen before that? I think the bear happened after Right this, after that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're going to get to all of it yeah. anyway, so may uh, out of record. So in, Nor- in the Winterfell. Yep. They were, they were, they I was were, surprised. I was like, oh, wow, we're going to Winterfell. Yeah. I, they, I just didn't think they, they would added, leave yeah, the, exactly the wall. The wall. But uh, yeah, Sansa and Arya had a conversation. You know, Arya brought up the whole the little pink the little slip. Yeah, the little the pink. You were about to say pink slip. <laughs> I was like pink slip. I was like, what the fuck? But the little slip of you got a parking uh, ticket. I know, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, the show. So you like, hey, look at what you wrote. I I understand what you're you're a traitor to the house. You know, and so so you know, yeah, okay. And this is my this is my complaint with the writing or if they maybe did this on purpose right? oh, oh yeah i want to ask you a question about this so go ahead okay. my complaint is like they have not or they purposely have not made a um effort to flush out sounds of story to portray it to everybody okay because i feel like everyone has been uh, every stark has gone through some shit and it's been revealed in one way or another, right? Uh, Arya with those masks and her daggers and fighting and skills. And her being and able to fight Brienne. Yeah, and, and then John being, like, fucking resurrected, scars, battle, fighting in that battle. Sansa is the only one. No one, one knows. No one knows what she has gone through, right. you know? And she has no outwardly way to portray that. And in some ways, I feel like she's been through the worst. Yeah, and that's what she, she's, she brought up that point when she's talking to Arya. She's like... The things that I've gone through, you would not have survived. Right. I've gone through like like a good maybe seven years of mental torture. You yeah, know? like she's and like, physical. Yeah, and physical. Yeah, and physical too. And I'm like, this is fuck. It's, Sexual. You know? Yeah, exactly. And she, you know, Arya comes back with the point of like, well, I killed men and I went to training and learned all this. Stuff. I'm like, but they both had know, a horrible, horrible. Yeah, they, yeah horrible. but I'm like, Arya, I mean, Arya was there at the red wedding. Arya, Arya refused to. Believe Sansa, you know, like right. I'm like she has that like that misconception. Like Sansa is still the same person that would left Winterfell, you know, like they're you know, like, oh, I want to be the pretty girl, I want to be the pre- queen, and then she brings that to the point, and I, I just feel bad because I like the stuff that we have seen as viewers yeah. that Sansa has gone through is just as bad as the, some of those things that, if not even it's actually worse. less, it's like yeah, like, it's yeah. it's worse than what it, um, what Arya has gone through. You know? I, I like, think so. Yeah, I'm like it's it's messed up, and you know, and, I feel and Drew like, was mentioning how yeah. he thinks how hypocritical it was yeah. for her to talk about how she would never serve or betray yeah. the Starks by serving in the Lannisters and then yeah. goes to poor Tywin's wine for a few months. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> you escaped torture because yeah, you, were you were pouring, pouring wine, wine to yeah. the leader of your enemies. I know. So, you know, it was like... So, my question to you is, is this her legitimately being over, overtly angry and, and emotional about this? 
Uh, or is this a huge ploy? Then she's just totally playing Bane. Again, I from the last episode, I feel like everyone's underestimating Arya, and I, I don't think she. I almost wonder fall. if Arya and Sansa are in it together. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And like, because at the at the end, there's another scene that comes out later in the episode. But yeah, I, I feel like they are working Baelish. They're working him, like because yeah. they're, they're literally, literally playing into what every he wants. Every single thing. Yeah, he's everything. Doing. Everything he's like, he thinks. And then after that meeting between Sansa and Arya, she goes into P- uh, Baelish's like quarters. Well, and like, that's that's Lilith. There's actually one part in between that where she's then talking to Baelish after they have their first tiff. Oh yeah, yeah. And right, right, Baelish right. tries. And here's the reason yeah. I think that they're both on top of him, yeah. and he doesn't know it. Yeah. He says, "Well, maybe Brienne can help because yeah. he has to protect whichever one of you attacks." Yeah. So what does Sansa do instead yeah. of giving him that? Sends yeah. Brienne away. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, Sansa, you are so fucking smart. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so she's she's yeah. playing him like a fiddle too, and yeah. I'm wondering, like, are did they like? I feel like. Do you remember the Firefly episode? Which one? <laughs> where. The, they go. They break into the apartment of that alliance guy and steal the old Lassiter laser pistol with Bridget at the time or Saffron. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. And yeah. and the whole time, the entire time, all the fights yeah. that they had in front of yeah. Saffron were all a ploy yeah. to get her to, to believe get... that she had them. At the very yeah. end, she was in the garbage. Bunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole thing <laughs> was a big trick on her. Yeah, okay. I'm wondering Maybe if it's it the isn't, same concept. Like right? they're all they know. Like Sansa and yeah. and Arya are staging these arguments. Yeah. It could be. Maybe it's real. But I feel like yeah, all I, all of them could just be in on this. I whole feel like thing. they they just they're out playing Baelish. Yeah, because like because Bran yeah, is there. Because, and he, he knows uh, because Sansa knows Baelish. If anyone that knows Baelish, but I think it's Sansa. Like oh, she knows she absolutely. like the, the last two scenes. She's like, I know what he wants, I and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like he tells her to get Brienne involved, yeah. and she's the complete opposite. Yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah, the opposite. So I I feel like yeah, they're both playing him right now, and uh, yeah, he he's like, oh yeah, I don't know where she got the the messenger. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. I have no ooh, idea. Ooh, I like, and I was like, how stupid do you think Sansa and is? And then man. yeah, and like, Arya doesn't even mention it one time that she got it from Baelish, like not once. And I'm like. That's weird. If you would, if I were Arya, I would have been like, "This I got it from Baelish," and just, mm-hmm. you know, like. But they specifically left that out, you know. Like, and if Arya wanted to do any of the things yeah. that she said she could do with yeah. that letter, like show it to the lords yeah, of the she north, done it, right? she would have done it. She had no yeah. reason not to. Yeah, exactly. So she, yeah. I just don't. I just feel that like Baelish has played his part. Yeah, he, and that they're just tricking him. They're setting him up for the grand fall. But you know? the thing that I want the most, though, yeah. like I know Arya, it'd be cool if Arya killed him. But like yeah. I want Bran to sit there and just let him know that. Yeah. Baelish is completely transparent. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> he knows everything. I That's know. what I want more than the like three anything. Even knows. I want this moment where they sit there and he does more of those chaos ladder, chaos yeah, is a ladder dude, things. Dude, that was and so that fun. Face that that dude, like, I got the goosebumps when he said that. I was like, oh <laughs> shit, <laughs> Baelish. I'm sure Baelish did too. You know? I was like, oh, I want what? more of that yeah. before he dies. Like that's that's what I'm but, really uh, hoping to get. Yeah, I, I have. He I should have die a, this next. I have a fan theory that I'll, I'll let you know at the end. I'll. T- we'll I have a a. Huge, yeah. Double part Drew theory that I'm bringing yeah. to the table. I, okay, I'll I'll bring something. It's just as good. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Um, so the next scene after that is I think goes to the wall, and and then it's it's a blizzard, right? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember. Keep it's, going. Yeah, it's a blizzard, and then uh, they see this bear. Oh well, they're it's, they're beyond the wall. That yeah. They're, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, beyond okay. the wall. I'm sorry. Beyond the wall. It's a huge blizzard. And they're like. And they see the bear. bear and, they're all, and then you know yeah, you see the silhouette. Was. Yeah, you see the silhouette of the bear, and then he turns toward, looks at them, and they're like, "Do bears have blue eyes?" And George's like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> and then they're all like, and then the guy that was that. Front, I thought that was, was no because like, they never been up there. Yeah, there's an extra basically. Like he's, he's yeah, it was extra. Way the fuck up there, and then. <laughs> guy and then the bear starts chasing him and he's like oh shit and he's like, he tries to bolt back to the group and he gets mauled the fuck i have this them. moment because they did a, such a terrible job of yeah, it's, telling us that they were it's so hard to see I, star I, trek red shirts i feel like they were doing it on purpose though because they, they wanted maybe to get that feeling I out of you yes right? they were like just, doing that fucking blizzard thing where his face was all blurry yeah and i was like, like i thought it was jorah dying yeah. or barrack or something yeah. i couldn't tell yeah i thought it was barrack yeah until like, they zoomed in you yeah, know it was like some random dude some random guy like yeah there's other people here with them? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the bear mauls the fuck. It's a zombie bear. Yeah, white zombie water. bear. Yeah, he was, like dead. fucking mauling the dude up, and then was there two bears or one bear? I don't know. It felt like there was, was two one bears. bear, but the bear came in yeah. from like the left side. Yeah, I was like, but there was in front of him, and then it came in the left. Side. Yeah, it's kind of shitty editing. Yeah, I, was, like, I don't know what the hell was what. Um, but yeah, maybe they wanted us to feel as confused as the people. Yeah, the, maybe yeah. so because they kind of get separated. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there they the bear does get Theros. Yeah, they they, they, they form a circle. They try to fight it off, but no, it was the bear was going to go for Clegane, right? Everyone's getting knocked out and knocked out of the way, right? And then it was going to go for Clegane, but then Theros comes in with his flaming sword and like pushes Clegane out of the way and takes the bear. Yeah, and then it goes, yeah. it gets on top of him, yeah. biting the yeah. fuck, the flaming sword, yeah, biting the flaming sword, and then. Uh, he flings the flaming sword out and he smalls the fuck out. Yeah, of it reminded me of the Revenant. Yeah, dude, it totally reminded me of the Revenant. Yeah, it was great, but it was like hard. It was like you saw like between those two shots, like Clegane looking at the bear mauling Theros and then Theros being mauled. I was like, get the fuck out, do yeah. something. I was like, why is everyone just standing that. there? I was like, what the fuck? I hated it. He, 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 he won't froze. Get over he, this. he like froze up again. I was like, it, was, it wasn't the first time. I'm that so he tired of him pussying out. I know. Fire. I'm like, what the fuck? He's, he, he kept on freezing in critical moments like this. I don't understand. Yeah. You know? Well, like, it, it's fire. Yeah, it's fire. It's always been fire. Yeah. Season two in the battle, he's like, fuck fire, that. Yeah. I'm not going to fight fuck fire. The king. <laughs> fuck the king. Yeah. And like, every time there's fire, he just stops. Yeah, just it just freaks out. out. And like, I was kind of hoping there would be some repercussions for him. Like, yeah. I wanted Tormund to like punch him in the face. Like, yeah. coward! Yeah. <laughs> that didn't happen. No. Um, but th- I think it, it might have been Tormund that came in and... They all, somebody yeah, came man, in. Yeah, I don't know came, what the fuck everyone was doing yeah, that whole time. I know, Tormund came, comes in with his axe and just, no, but then he gets knocked away. He gets knocked away too. Yeah, and then it was Beric with his flaming sword. He stabs the bear stabs and the turns bear. it in, like, inflames the bear. Yeah. And then, um, was it John that came in with his video? Uh, John or Jora? Yeah. I don't remember. Jora did finally, stab him with his dagger, yeah, his dragon glass dagger. His dragon glass dagger. Right. And then, uh, John came in with the, the Valerian steel. It's so cool to see all these characters together. Know, they're working together. I was like, duh, Suicide Squad! I was so, so, like I God, there were so many times where I thought it was one of them dying. Yeah. And then they they sear Theros' oh, wound God. with the, the flaming yeah. sword. Yeah. Oh fuck that. Jeez. But uh, yeah, it was crazy. You just hear the flesh just being fried, and mm-hmm. I was like, ugh. But yeah, and then and he says, then, I just got see, bit by, and you see uh, by a dead just, like, bear. Turning away from yeah. me, he's like, I can't you know, you can't you can't watch that shit, you know. I love the line Theros said, I just got bit by a dead bear. Odd life this is. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> God, I thought he was gonna make it after that, but oh, God. So then uh so the bear fight and I th- honestly I think that was the most like least impactful scene of the whole like episode. Yeah, they just needed yeah. like some action. Yeah, they need some action in there, but uh so after that they um do they still stick with them? Like uh, I think we may have kind of messed the order up because yeah. I'm pretty sure it then jumps back somewhere else and then it jumps to the, uh, to Jorah talking to Barak, uh, talking to Theros about yeah. the battle. That was after that's he was right, hurt. yeah, because he was uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. He was yeah. talking. That's when they were talking yeah, about the talking battle, about and I think they have like another conversation yeah. there. So like that's that's the part there. So they link yeah. the fight with conversation in the yeah. middle. Yeah. Um. I. I think it then goes to the point where they find the the, the white the yeah, white yeah, the, the, the ambush. And the I don't think there's anything in between there. Pretty yeah. much sticks with them for the rest, for of, the rest of it. Yeah, the, so they find except the, for a little bit later. Yeah, they find the White Walker with a small band of uh, zombies. I'm like, what the? Yeah. F-? I was like, what? I was like, okay, what are they doing out here? And why is there only a couple? It's so good. Like a vanguard, like they're walking yeah, out there, maybe, and like, yeah, scouting and, it or something. Like yeah, that, like because I mean, they're getting so close to the wall, like yeah. they don't know if they're gonna hit. Yeah, so they leave a trap for him, and the trap was like just a fire you know and then just the to white, distract him yeah, the white the the what the fuck, fuck? yeah he's <laughs> like, someone out here yeah and then uh they ambush him that was it was fucking awesome it was really cool yeah and they're all fighting the white walkers and john like 1v1 the fucking white walker and everything i was like it was awesome it was yeah, awesome it, was it fucking... really reminds me just because we're getting into the fantasy it just yeah. feels like lord of the rings now yes they're yeah. fighting these unhuman these inhuman yeah. creatures and it's just awesome it was fucking cool, but yeah, he and, and then, then they, they kind of learned something. Yeah, they they fight. They so John slices uh, slices the White Walker in half, and then he, he dies. But then a bunch of other Whites die as well. Yeah, they're like they're like what? And then, but one is still one left. survived. Yeah, yeah. One's, one's so left. Drew has theorized yeah. that be, what what's going on here yeah. is that White Walkers don't summon; they warg. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah they're uh, warging into each White Walker can warg into multiple, multiple multiple bodies. Yeah, and he thinks that that White Walker warged into that yeah. white. Oh, that they captured. Oh, okay. And now there's a, there's a White Walker warging in there, and he's still in there. That's attached. 
that's a that's, good. That makes sense. That that really that does make sense yeah. because they they have they have a Drew, ton of magical Drew, power. I'm telling you, man, this guy's. Like, I'm, I'm like I'm always waiting to get there yeah, and listen to his shit because he, yeah. like, he seems uh, to be right about everything. His because uh, yeah, like I feel like there's multiple magical powers that from the White Walkers that we don't know about, and we'll see that later in the episode. And we're like, what the fuck? And, you know, it's crazy. So yeah, they they capture the the one. But he, before they capture him, he lets out this fucking screech, yeah. which I was like, "Holy shit, that audio is creepy!" Oh, like, I was like, terrible. "They, whatever they did to make that sound was fucking awesome." Yeah. I was like, "And uh, it sounded like uh, not to go back to Lord of the Rings again." Yeah, I was like, "Kind of yeah. sounds like a ring ring." Yeah, a ring ring. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I was like, "Holy fuck!" Um, but yeah, so they summon like an avalanche of the a whole blood. host. Yeah, the whole host of fucking walkers and i'm like and that's when this damn. is shit i think i mean at this point there's not much to, it's yeah. they run away yeah they run away they, over the ice oh, so they, yeah they get to a lake or a little pond or whatever there's one little convenient island in the middle of the pond and then there's like ice around it so then the white walkers are chasing them but they start falling into the ice fall into the ice yeah so they can't uh, can't fall over. and then they're yeah. stuck there and yeah they're stuck there and, and at that surrounded. point i think when they're running is yeah. when they send gendry back. yeah right before that because when the white screen they, they hear the whole host coming yeah gendry <laughs> they're like you're the fastest of us all, and then yeah. and then uh, was it Clegane that takes no, takes it was like Torment, Torment. Yeah, man. he's like without the hammer. It's too and, heavy. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, but it's his hammer. Yeah. I was like, he'll get it back. Yeah, I think. yeah, I think he'll get it back. So, but yeah, he fucking. He reminded me of like uh, I can't remember his name exactly, like Philippidi or whatever. The guy yeah. who ran the 26 miles oh, yeah, at the Battle yeah. of Marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that kind yeah. of like seemed yeah, like to yeah. me. I, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, that's a long. I was like, that. I felt like that pacing wasn't. Well portrayed. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I didn't well know portrayed. how far they came. Yeah, are they really yeah, that close to the wall? That's what I thought too. That I was like, are they? What the fuck? They're that close to the wall? Because it was like, like evening when he arrived. Yeah, at the wall. Uh, and like, yeah, he like collapsed to just maybe show like he ran a lot. He like, kept running, kept running, kept running, kept running. It just it, it wasn't good pacing. I w- I wish they would like put another scene in between there. I mean, know? but like, realistically, twenty six to thirty yeah. miles. Yeah, I mean, it's doable for sure. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Quote unquote. Yeah, but I'm like, fuck, that's inhuman. I was yeah, like, I he he's a blacksmith. He doesn't have cardio. He, he's just banging a hammer all day. Yeah, I, like, I don't know. What the fuck? Uh, he's the youngest. I yeah, guess. I guess he's, he's in a, shape. Yeah, right? he, that was there. That yeah, was a, true. I mean, and Tormund wouldn't have made it that far. No, and Hound wouldn't have made it that far. So I get that. So, yeah, yeah. So the then they just, they're stuck on the yeah. island. Um, this is one of my favorite scenes, by the way. The the rock? Yeah, the rock. So Gendry gets there. They're going to send a raven to get to Daenerys. Daenerys. Yeah, he's like, Send a raven for Daenerys, yeah. you know. So then one, they're on the on the yeah. island with with the rocks. and then then I guess they were they got there like at night so now dawn comes so it's like yeah they're yeah, all asleep like, it they shows all, them like waking yeah, up waking up and he fucking Clegane grabs a rock throws it at one of the walkers takes his jaw takes off. his jaw off and he's like tun tun <laughs> and then he grabs another rock and he doesn't throw it as far it's a little bit bigger rock and he throws doesn't throw it as far but it doesn't break the ice. And, and, they, and the, the gap yeah. has refrozen, yeah. which is, I think, what tells there is not a very good way of yeah. doing it. But that tells you it's been a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, yeah, that's it's why it's been yeah. days. Yeah, it's it, been, that big, huge trench yeah, does not freeze not over freeze overnight. overnight. Yeah, so I think that like when the dragons come in later, yeah, it's people were like, like "Whoa, she go through like I'm like no, I think it took it's her like a few days. Few yeah. days, yeah, yeah. So I definitely agree. And he, of course, they're flying. So they're they're flying. Get the, it shouldn't yeah. take that. It's like yeah. England, basically. Yeah, it's exactly. not that big. You know? Yeah, it, the Westeros is, is the, based on the English England. Channel, basically. You know, yeah. So um, just flew from basically yeah. like flew flew from like mid middle of England to the yeah. northern of Scotland. Yeah, like it's not really that far. So, but yeah, so she yeah, so they the the walkers realize that the lake's been frozen over again and they start their starts fucking, the battle oh my god that was a crazy ass battle so fucking uh they so they all have like small forged like dragon glass weapons right all, all knew they, they knew they were going to need them right right except um, for john has got the valyrian, valyrian sword yeah, yeah valyrian sword and then uh barrack who has the flaming sword you know right which is so fucking cool by the, the way and then like so he fun. does the classic like yeah. obi-wan like yeah i was like i was like fucking like, jedi up in here with his little lights he did that that actor did that so on purpose and the director's like yes just do it. yeah it's fucking, don't just just fucking do it yeah it was great um uh, a bunch of randos die in the battle. Yeah, these <laughs> random motherfuckers yeah, the- <laughs> who were not even in the shot. Yeah, not like, in the shot. I was like, who the fuck? I feel who, like they just came out like, of the water themselves. In fact, in fact, one scene where John was like pulling the white back to the the, the top of the rock, yes. and he was like getting attacked by uh, um, 
a walker from behind. From behind. Yeah, and then the guy pulls the walker off, kills him, and then falls off the edge and all the, into the pit. And then the, all the you know walkers just grab. Oh, who the apart. fuck was that? <laughs> was that guy? Yeah, I was like, what? And there's a couple of extras that get yeah. killed. I swear to God, that weren't yeah. even in the shot, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, Tormund. Close call for Tormund. I, you and I both thought he was going to die. They, they knew set it up. that we thought he was going to yeah, die. Yeah, because that's what they did to us. Yeah, and they're like, I was like, no. And I was like, but half of me, I was like, Ian told me this is going to happen. I was yeah, saying the whole like, Alyssa yeah. was like, no, he's not. I'm like, he's dead. He's yeah. a dead man. Yeah, walking. he's a dead man. I said that dead all episode long. Like, oh, then uh, Clegane, though, kind of redeems himself a little yeah, bit. He yeah, he absolutely redeems he goes him, so. uh, goes in there and fucking saves him, and then mm-hmm. Tormund gives him like a fist bump. And, um... Yeah, so then, and then... Uh, it was weird to see Tormund be really scared. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I was like, I thought... Frightened. Yeah, because you, you, the way you were describing it last uh, last week is, like, he's going to sacrifice himself. He's like, run, blah, blah, blah. But Ripping in, off in, heads yeah, and skeletons. Yeah, in, in that scene, he was like, help me, yeah, he just help me. Panicked. Yeah, and I was like... He was about to get dragged down in the water with a bunch of skeletons. Yeah, I, was I, mean, like, I don't blame fuck, him being scared. Yeah, it was crazy. To see a warrior like that be scared shitless for something else, yeah. he was, like, crying I, shit. I was, yeah, and then there's the what I call the Boromir moment, where it suddenly yeah. it's quiet and everyone's in slow oh, yeah, motion. He, he, and I was John like, okay, now who's dying? Yeah, John has, the, like, the Boromir moment. He's just like... <laughs> yeah, everyone's all fighting on slow motion. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no! I was like, no! I was like, the stabs in the back. I was just waiting for it. I was waiting for Jorah to get sword... Yeah, oh, I, like, I was I just waiting for that, it. Jorah was the one I thought was going to die for sure. Yeah, and I feel like Jorah like, and Tormund both pretty much yeah. their arcs are done for yeah. the most part. Yeah, there's really, really not much left. Yeah, I for think Barrow was going to. I thought it was Barrow was going to die too. I was like, yeah, everyone except for John at that but point. But Theros did. Yeah. Get killed yeah. here. This is when yeah. he dies. Yeah, Theros. Yeah, Theros did die, and then but Beric, he uh, he was. Well, he actually just gets wounded. They don't show you. The, like, it's like after like things like cool down or whatever, because there's a moment where they he like froze to death or something. Yeah, you know, that's that, before that, the before, fight. Yeah, before the fight, he okay. He was so, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, he He's already died dead, in yeah. the night. And they're all like, we have to burn him, so they pour like. Yeah, wine and they said like that's a good way to go. He died in his sleep, basically, yeah, and just exactly. froze to death. So, but yeah, and then um. Yeah, so the fight starts, and then, you know, you, the after the slow motion moment... They had already like, shown that the, the Night King was there. They knew yes, that Barak had mentioned walkers, that, like, yeah. I think so if you we can kill fight him, him yeah, we can, if we can kill him, I think it, it, yeah. all of them are going to die, because he's the one that... Yeah, and... Uh, I love the Night King just, like, shows up. And dude, I know, he's just hard. watching him. He's like, dude, stoic as fuck. Yeah, I right? love him. Okay, here's my theory. Now that we're getting to the end, right? Did you not think the, the, the Night King kind of looks like Bran... Oh yeah, so that Did is I, the so that's so that's my, here's is that what it is you, okay? So my theory, uh, maybe not the same as you, but Bran has some part in this, and I feel like in order he, he's because he has knowledge of everything now the universe right. right. Maybe he thinks that the only way to unite all these people is to create this greater evil. You know, I'm like maybe he purposely made these White Walkers. Maybe he purposely. Uh, like, because remember, he saw the, the, fir- the children of the, of, uh, the forest making the first White Walker, right? The, the Night King himself, actually. And maybe he, like, told them to do that. Maybe he, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he has yeah. no limitation to, like, time, space. He has access to everything in the universe. Maybe to unite all these people, he's creating that one greater evil. Is that kind of what Drew is thinking? Or? Yeah, well, he's, yeah, he had two steps yeah. to that yeah. analogy, or not analogy, yeah. but to that prediction. Yeah. Is that when the dragons arrive? Yeah. The dragons show up to save them at the last yes, minute. Yes. Yeah. Awesome scene. Yeah, dude. I, love I knew that. Love remember when that? So my prediction from last week came true. I was like, dude, watch the stray runs from the yep. dragons. On yep. the, They'll undead. come up out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> right as things seem most dire. Yeah. Um, and like I think we all kind of knew. Yeah. So Mason's prediction and my and I think our prediction yeah. came kind of combined yeah. because my thing was that the Night King's gonna kill a dragon. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's yeah. why I thought the crossbow was bullshit. Yeah. Because the Night King is a real threat. Yeah. And he killed it easily. And like, I, I, I knew that was happening. Like, yeah. as soon as the dragon's I'm like, he's he's going to kill one. Yeah, he just grabbed, a, like, an ice spear, basically. It's a, so it was clearly a magical Yeah, man. Thing. He's a fucking and destroyed. chucks that thing it. and annihilates the dragon. Yeah, I was like, wow. And then, of course, Mason's thing comes true. So, yeah. like, it was we were both right. Oh, we're all right, time. yeah. I was yeah, like, holy fuck, right. yeah. yeah. I was like, holy so fuck. We knew, because, like, for me, I was like, the one thing is, like, the problem with the Night King... Yeah, he had that moment yeah. where he raises the dead while looking yeah. at John in the last season. Yeah, he, but like there hasn't been a moment I feel like you where fear him. Yeah, I feel like anytime I hear talk, talk about White Walkers from yeah. people who watch Game of Thrones, like yeah. what are they doing? They're just walking around yeah. up there. They need, like they need he needs to start scaring people yeah. more than he has. Yeah, and, and like 
That's and the it. trump card. Well, like the three dragons were the trump card that everyone exactly. was like. Exactly. Everyone's burnt. like, who cares? Just get dragons, yeah. burn them all up. Yeah, I was like, he no. fucking destroyed one. Night King is not. We're not messing around. Yeah, here. dude. You know, like, I, I love yeah. that. I mean, it was so sad it to was, watch the dragon yeah, die for sure. But at the same time, I was like, okay, thank you guys. Yeah, I think for, it was like, Viserys understanding. Too. You need the Night King. That's why I'm yeah. hoping. I think he needs to be the final thing. Like, he no, needs to yeah. be wait. He, uh, I think he's gonna mount that dragon like Daenerys mounts. You know, right. And, uh, drove Absolutely, him. he will. And uh, he, uh, yeah. So he, uh, if you guys haven't seen this, so near the end of the episode, the dragon gets pulled out. So the dragon gets killed. He falls into the lake. Yeah. So then, let me uh, really yeah. quickly about the the first. So the first yeah. step in the prediction that Drew yeah. was telling me, which he was basing a lot of stuff from the books, yeah, is that he thinks um, that he is a seer like. Jojen was yeah. the the kid who helped yeah. Bran out with his yeah. sister, and like Bran is, yeah. and like a few other people have been seers. They're yeah. able to to see things. Yeah, um, and and it, he thinks the Night King is, and that's the reason mm-hmm. that the White Walkers have never come south because he yeah. knew the whole time yeah. that she had dragons, and so, he knew oh. that they were going to come up for that, and so he was just waiting for them. Yeah, and he probably sent those random eight dudes yeah. out there to get them. He he knows all of them. Oh. Oh shit! Already, okay. so he needed a dragon of his own. Yeah. So he's like, "Well, I'm just gonna bide my time. Yeah, kill all the wildlings to that's build my crazy. army. And I'm just gonna wait for Danny to come." That's fucking sick. If he, because like we, that's what I'm saying. Like they need to make the Night King the fucking most evil, yeah, most powerful being, like above these dragons. Like he's like he could kill them in one spear. I'm like, what the fuck? There's no because like, no, I felt nothing like for the balance in Westeros power yeah. was heavily in Danny's favor, right? right. Like where the three dragons, like no one's gonna be able to stop her. But no. you know, and then this Night King comes and he like he chucks a spear yeah, and kills fucking him. destroys it. So it kind of balances out the, ba- the balance, the definitely power, you know. Him. But yeah, I feel like he, I, my my uh, my my theory is like he looked so much like Bran, like a grown up version of Bran, you know, like. So uh, in the books, yeah, uh, when we didn't get it in, in yeah. the show because yeah. I feel like it would have been too obvious. For yeah. Me. Because the books are so much more dense and there's so much more going on. Yeah. It's in the first book. I even read it. I didn't remember yeah. it. Because there's so many there's so much going on in the books, it's easy it's easier to forget whereas in the show everyone yeah. tears it apart. Yeah. And they're gonna remember things. Yeah. In the book, you remember Nan? Yeah. Wait. Nan. Tells the stories about the frost spiders writing yeah. the dead spiders. Yeah. So in the books, yeah. she's telling she's talking about that. And she's been right about everything. Like yeah. he's he said everything she says comes true. So what she I don't know who she is. Yeah. So she says that the thirteenth Lord Commander, eight thousand years ago, the thirteenth yeah. Lord Commander of the Watch, yeah. went north of the Wall and was killed and became the Night King. And oh. his name is Bran Stark. What? What the fuck? Is- his name was Bran Stark. He was one of the Stark. Members. The Starks have always been watching the Wall. Holy the shit! The thirteenth member who was. Became the did Night you, King was called Bran Stark. It doesn't get any more obvious. Dude, than that. fucking! Did you know that the guy that built the wall was Bran the Builder? Dude, what? Bran is the key to this whole fucking. Yeah. Wow. So in the insane. in the same way that Hodor became yeah. Hodor, it's like the yeah. same thing. It's like he doesn't know that. Yeah. It's like this. He's a caught in a time loop. Yeah. And he's making decisions in the past that he hasn't made yet in Holy the future. Holy shit! So it's. Do you think that three pretty much I, guaranteed the Night King is Bran? Yeah. Do you think in that, my opinion that Three Eyed Raven is Bran too? Like the guy that taught him, like currently right now? You Maybe know, uh, he didn't really talk about that. Actually, yeah. I, I mean, he was saying that the Three Eyed Raven was just a yeah. uh, like basically the first. Yeah. You know, so I don't know if he already knew he was there. Ah, dude, that's but. insane. Yeah, I was like, because I was like, that's so convenient, like Bran, and then Bran the Builder. I didn't know the Bran the 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 Knight. Bran Stark yeah. was the wow. was the Night King became the Night King. That's fucking crazy. So dude. it's definitely I don't yeah. I mean in my opinion I'm basically decided on that. I'm like, yeah. no, dude, that's it. Yeah, I was like, that's, that's it. It's not was, an accident. But do you think he's doing it like in a good way or like just he just doesn't know what he's doing? Like, um, well, like, I think do he does know what he's doing. Yeah. He he, you know, at the point he is in his yeah. loop of time, he yeah. doesn't know. Yeah, but he will, or maybe yeah. he does and hasn't said anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like um, maybe the 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 Night King right now is doing things that. Into to him is like he already see he's already seen this. His decisions are yeah. beyond. Maybe that's why he's like he knows the dragons were going to be there. He already he's already seen it. You yeah, know? Like, and you that's know. what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why the the White Walkers have not come south of the yeah. walls because they knew that Danny would come with the dragons. He yeah. wanted to kill the dragon to get to the dragon. Yeah, holy fuck, it dude! Probably fan theory brand. confirmed. Or, we've been right about a lot of things lot so of stuff, far. So yeah. maybe this. I've is, cheated a little bit because yeah. I've got this dude who's like <laughs> obsessed. 
obsessed with the books. Yeah. I just read them like twice and Jeez, shit. So dude. I like he comes. I always I'm like tell me everything. <laughs> 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 tell me everything yeah. you know, Drew. Yeah, but fuck, that's great, dude. But yeah, I it's this is the most this show has surpassed any show I've ever seen in my life. Just because of the last two seasons. Yeah, the last yeah, two seasons. The last two special. seasons have made everything suffering from the you know from the beginning yeah. to now is like worth every minute, every second that you put into it's it. It's all been payoffs. Yeah. I'm like, oh through. my God. So good. I just like yeah, all these I can't wait for this. I know. I can't wait for the end. So, so they Daenerys shows up in her beautiful yeah. winter coat. Yes. Yeah. Um, they have a scene on the wall yeah. earlier. Just I don't. They weren't. Yeah. Really. They were, no, uh, uh, after. 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 That's after. Yeah. yeah. After. So she saves, shows up, saves, saves them all. Them all. And John's like, "Good on yeah. yeah. Which was so it fucking was so stupid. dumb. There's a lot of like, contrived bullshit. Yeah. In this, oh my in god. This season, I will damn say it, that. John. Oh, I, like, go. I, I think that's the reason they did that was like they try, they're trying to force like a love yeah. connection. Oh, you know, they, so definitely. But um, yeah. So Darren she is takes like, off, yeah. narrowly misses a job. Another job. Oh fuck. They get out of there with Jorah hanging on the side, and it's all this crazy shit. They get out. Um, John is there. And yeah. he's fighting, and he's fighting, and then he gets dragged into the water. Yeah, into and the water. The coldest fucking water. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck did you get out of there without hypothermia? Somehow man? he gets out of there, and then, and then the main character Deus Game Ex of Thrones. Machina. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the it's, fucking writing in this. Whoever wrote this, this is shit. so stupid. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, who the fuck is that? It's, it's like this bla- black lantern like, mace. Yeah. I was like, oh. Flail. As soon as I saw that mace, I was like, oh, I was like, oh no. Oh, come Benjen. on. Well, I was excited at first. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. Like, Benjen. Because yeah. the thing is, uh, more Drew stuff. Yeah. Benjen is combined with a character called Cold Hands yeah. in the book, who is an undead former Night Watch guy yeah. that is a good person. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, and he helps, he helped uh, Jojen yeah. and Bran and then yeah, get, right. just like Benjen did. It yeah. wasn't Benjen, it was, yeah, it the was book, Cold it was, Hands. Yeah, Cold Hands, yeah. Um, and so they combined those two characters uh-huh. and he was saying that Bran can warg into Cold Hands. Oh. So it's possible that Bran notif- told Benjen, Benjen he did, needed yeah. to go and help yeah. him. Yeah. Fuck. So that could break the Deus Ex there. I yeah. mean, Bran is the ultimate Deus Ex. Yeah, at this yeah. Bran. I was like, Bran's the yeah. I was like, but it, within the context, yeah. it wasn't like he just random. That yeah. wasn't quite that. It was probably Bran walking yeah. into that. That makes sense. Yeah. But then what they chose to do it's at the end of that <laughs> sequence was the retarded, terrible <laughs> writing part. Yeah. Where he goes, there's no time, dude. You could have been on the horse. Yeah, no. I was like, you, you, in the time that you said that, you could have just jumped. Could have been on the horse already. Yeah, I was like, come with me. I can't. You, there's, there's no, no time. time. Slaps Slap. the horse <laughs> ass. Horse takes off. And my favorite, I was Arthur and I and Alyssa, like we were in care. We were laughing our ass off yeah. when he runs into the crowd and just gets tackled. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna be the be the bad, I thought he was gonna be his badass, like fighting off like hundreds of like yeah. And then he yeah, just, like, it gives gets, you another scene where he drops his yeah. flail again. He's like, yeah, and then he just gets hit and tackled. Oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> it's terrible. But, yeah, I know. It's it was, really yeah, bad. It was really bad. bad. And that scene. And then you know they sh- John shows Daenerys wait, waiting on the wall yep. for John, and I was like. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what? You should have been back at Dragon's Open or whatever. Or just gone into your ships or whatever. Yeah. But she's waiting there. She's like, you know, they're really making it like Daenerys cares about him. You know, like... She, I believe it. Yeah, so, absolutely. I believe it too. But I'm like, she's like, what? Get a few more minutes. A few more minutes. And, you know... There he comes. Yeah, perfect timing. Out, perfect timing. They get him back inside. Warm him up. They take like, his coat off, which is like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like... It was peeling a, a frozen banana. All the cuts. And yeah. then they have like a super heartfelt moment. Yeah. Uh, and then the he's like... I would bend the knee if I could. He's like, you are my queen now. And she starts yeah, crying. Yeah. Oh, I was man. like, oh. And that's why I'm like, don't make Danny go crazy. I know. I was like, oh, that's so nice. And I'm not really grossed out by the fact that she's his aunt because they yeah. don't know it. Yeah, they don't know like, it. Like, it, it would be, it's worse to me with Cersei because yeah. she knows. Yeah, and she knows. It's and intentional. They're, they're like biological twins. Yeah. I'm like, that's weird. And I was like. Whereas, like, the two of them have no clue. Yeah, no clue. So it doesn't creep me out yeah. as much because it's not like. Yeah, they have no clue. They have no. They're not being perverted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're just falling who, in love. Like, who of the. I mean, what guy wouldn't fall in love with her and yeah. what woman wouldn't fall yeah, in love no, with her? Exactly. Him? So I don't blame either of them. But yeah. Um, so they you know, have a heartfelt moment. She He proclaims her 
to the be queen. his queen. And at uh, first, I was like, "Wait, did he just propose marriage?" Yeah, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "Wait, wait, wait, what?" I was like, Which yeah. "Maybe that's what he meant." And maybe, like at the time, yeah. it was lost in translation. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. They, they, they hold hands for a little bit, yeah. and she starts tearing up. And then up she and leaves. And she leaves. Yeah, yeah and he calls her Danny. Oh yeah, my god, like, <laughs> you're killing me. Yeah, and I was like, she's like the she's last person by to call that. me Danny. I was like, wait, yeah, I was like, didn't Jorah call you Danny? I think so. He always says my queen and my majesty and all that stuff. He always, he's always all like overly. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but he yeah she's right. Sarah's was the last one. Did that, so wow, so crazy, there it is. Yeah, crazy episode. Oh, then this episode, of course, ends the with, very end. Yeah, the, the Night King's which Walker's we knew that was coming. Yeah, Night King Walker drags the dragon out of the. They got the a chain pond. from somewhere. Yeah, they uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, they tra- they drag the dragon out and he turns it into like, like an eye tree, opens yeah. the blue eye. Blue eyes, yeah. There you go. Like, Thanks Fuck a lot, Bran. Yeah, no way. <laughs> it's like, Bran, you're such a dick. Stop being, stop being a night king, yeah. Bran. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop seeing everything. God. <laughs> so, uh, even though they didn't confirm it, pretty sure the yeah. night king is Bran. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure. Night so, king. I can't wait like, to tell you Alyssa can start that. Seeing I think Alyssa's like, going to faint when I tell her You can her start that. seeing it, though, like the way he interacts with uh, his siblings. He, his uh, human side is dying out. You know, it's like it's over. You know, right. so he, he's... She's like one girl, I don't remember her name, but she's like, you died in that cave. And he's like, yeah. Pretty yeah, much. pretty much. Yep. Yeah, pretty <laughs> he much. did. Yeah, crazy, dude. Oh, 54 minutes. Wow, that was 50, like a little, 55 see, minutes. We didn't, we didn't have Mason here to regulate us, man. I know, yeah. man. We went over, we went a little we went crazy. We by like six minutes. Yeah, <laughs> no, we went a little crazy, uh, but... Uh, Thanks again for uh, watching. I can't wait to see your guys' comments. On yeah, this. yeah, I can't yeah. wait for the comments. And, and uh, uh, I'm looking give us God. your theories. Next fucking last episode. What man. do you think about Bran being the Night King? Yeah. Uh, did that surprise you? Did you already know that or yeah. have an idea? So I, I yeah, want to know. If that's the biggest point I think that comes away from this, at least for me. Yeah. Which didn't I didn't come away with that from the episode. Yeah. That was that was just later on. So yeah. um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you here next Monday. More content coming. Series finale. Yeah, let us know if you want to do, us to do any particular shows. Uh, you know, other after shows. The, yeah, yeah, we only have the. I'd one love to do Stranger Things. Dude, Stranger Things, uh, Westworld. Oh, of course, we'll in Westworld. Westworld. Yeah. Oh, god, that would be so good. Um, but yeah, so thanks a lot and uh, peace. Later.